This is 29 Acacia Road. And this is Eric, the schoolboy who leads an exciting double life. But when Eric eats a banana, an amazing transformation occurs. Eric is Banana Man, ever alert for the call to action. Once again, Banana fans, that happy-go-lucky band of villains, the Heavy Mob, were back in jail. Yes, another smash-and-grab raid had gone wrong. They smashed a window and were grabbed by the long arm of the law. Ooh. Ah, there's not a jam donut in the land that's safe with your Heavy Mob on the loose, Eddie. You are going back to jail. <laughs> One evening, after the warders said night night and tucked the heavy mob up in their beds, Eddie the Gent called a meeting. Oh no, Eddie, not another daring escape plane. Oh yes, Morris. And this time, an innocent game of cricket will be the perfect cover for our getaway. Oh, oh brilliant. Brilliant. That's brilliant. What a brilliant. Nice. Oh, you are like oh, you so much. It's a note from Eddie the Gent. You read it, Crow. It's in joined up letters. Hey, uh, hey, hey, up all. It's an invitation to a cricket match at the jail, boss. The heavy mob against your side. The Arcasia Road All Stars. Oh, good. A friendly match. If you've just joined us, Blana fans, welcome to a real cracker of a cricket match. That's Morris the Muscle batting, and he's in great form. <laughs> And for the All-Stars, it's Mr. Grindle throwing everything he's good. Not a long drive from Morris, and the heavies are off and running. Just look at that scoreboard. There's no stopping this mob, unless, yes, it's Banana Man. Gotcha! <laughs> How about that, fans? He's out for a duck. I'm in a crow. <laughs> well done, crow. And it's the All Stars' turn. They need a hundred ones to win. And coming into bat, it's so it's, it's Banana Man. The scoreboard operators will be working overtime from now on. <laughs> there. And there. And how's that? <laughs> Delicious. Now I'm supercharged with banana power, fans. Watch this one. Where's the ball, Eddie? Never mind the ball, Morris. Just keep running towards the gate. We're breaking out. Another triumph, Crow. We've won the match and stopped the heavy mob. Hi there. Is this your ball? Far away in the jungles of the Banana Republic, Eric's favorite TV reporter, Fiona, was filming an expedition. They were searching for the lost tribe of the tapiocas. Ah, 
Give us a chance, lady. I only studied my lessons last week. Well, viewers, according to my map, I should be in the very heart of tapioca country. And yet, there's no sign of that elusive lost tribe. In the past, many brave explorers have disappeared in the unknown regions of this vast jungle. Some say they were sacrificed to Ping Pong, mythical god of tapioca. Once again, the brave jungle fighter soared through the tropical skies. His one thought, to rescue the lovely Fiona. But would he get there in time? It's a note, fans. It says, you're too late, Banana Man. We went that way. Signed, Fiona. Fear not, Petal. I'm on my way. Oh! oh, oh, oh. That's a beautiful melody. How does it end? Suddenly, I hope. Don't worry, fans. It's not as bad as it looks. This may be part of a surprise adventure holiday. But I was wrong. It's bad. Yeah. Look at them, boss. You know what they are? They're arithmetic snakes. Adders. <laughs> This is no time for comedy, Crow. I'm trapped. And those snakes are getting closer and closer. Hang on. I've got an idea. Oh, yes. <laughs> Does it? How about that, Crow? Snakes and ladders. We beat them at their own game. Now to rescue Fiona. Yes. Did you hear that? Did you? We beat them? Ha! And so Banana Man made his escape. But was it to an even greater danger? <laughs> Put me down! Put me down or I'll... Uh, I'll... It's no use struggling. This is the end. But uh, thanks for trying to save me, Banana Man. You, Jane. You, Tarzan. Uh, no, old chap. Actually, I'm Banana Man. How do you do? And this is Fiona, sweetheart of the airwaves. Oh. Sorry, I uh, must be in the wrong film. Come, Fiona, fly with me. Anyway, Mr. One. That's me. Late one night, banana fans, a huge tanker roared through the countryside. The sinister figure crouched over the wheel had already committed two crimes, and no one knew where the trail of terror would lead. I picked up this milk bottle, right? and, and there was a note in it, right? and it said, you are about to be hit on the head, and your milk tanker hijacked. I see. Then what happened? I was hit on the head, and milk tanker hijacked. Funny thing, though, someone left a stale cream bun. I see. A stale cream bun. And now over to police headquarters and Chief O'Reilly. Thus, as a banana appeal, if you are watching this program, Banana Man, report in immediately. I'm on my way. Right, Chief, what's 
this about a missing tanker? I reckon we've got a tank full of trouble, Banana Man, because that is not all that's missing. Someone broke into the chemists and they stole 50 gallons of cod liver oil and left another stale cream bun. A stale cream bun? Chief, that sounds like the Mulvis operatic of Captain Cream. But what can he do with a refrigerated milk tanker and 50 gallons of cod liver oil? Make smelly ice cream. That's what he can do. Look down there. Oh, look what we oh, this tastes awful. Revolting. Terrible. It's a plot to get to Banana Man. Quick, Banana Man. Follow that tanker. <laughs> Hijacked milk tanker. Milk tanker, milk tanker. No, I haven't seen one here. I have a spell cream. <laughs> no thanks, Captain Cream. Uh, Your little game has turned sour. This drink's on you, banana man. I ask you, what are you drinking? You're not afraid of him, I? It'll pass, Crow. It's only a milk shake. But I'll get him this time. <laughs> Hands up, banana man. Well, what can you do against a cream gun on the full power? How about a banana surprise? <laughs> to many strange sights on Acacia Road, banana fans, but this was most unusual. A snowman in the middle of July. So, weatherman, you've sent the snowman on a secret mission to Acacia Road, eh? Oh, yes, indeed I have, General Blight. He will seek out and destroy Banana Man. Many others have tried, and all have failed. That is true, but the snowman will succeed. He's armed with one of my new thermal guns. It fires hot and cold running laser beams. Seek out and destroy. Seek out. Yes, banana fans, once again the forces of evil were on the march. But this time the attack was by a single deadly foe. For a moment there was an icy silence. Then the snowman resumed his advance, ready to blast away at anything in his path. Emergency! There's a... When the chilling news reached Chief O'Reilly, he got hot under the collar. Phew. Eric, 
My entire police force has been turned into ice lollies. Gosh, Chiefy, ice lollies? What flavour? Never mind the flavour, Eric. I need Banana Man now. Right, door, Chiefy. <laughs> I have tracked you down, Banana Man. Now I shall destroy you and Chief O'Reilly. Oh, the diddly 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 day, the diddly diddly day. Oh, oh, how it's you, Banana Man. For a minute, I thought it was. You thought it was the Snowman. It is. Don't make a move, O'Reilly. Freeze! <laughs> Don't go away, men. I'm just going to the fridge to cool off after all this excitement. <laughs> Once again, banana fans, it is Crow to the rescue. <laughs> Was that a little woodpecker? No, 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 no. His eye, boss! Crow! Here, quick, have some instant banana power. Come on, quickly, quickly! Before that mechanical snowball comes back. Come on, boss, please! Let's go! It's no use. There's no escape from the snowman. Miss! Close. Ah, missed! If the cold ray can't get you, the hot ray will! Again. Now it's my turn, Snowflake. All you need is a little icing, some decorating, and there. Now you look like a real snowman. He's all yours, Chief. Thank you very, very much, Banana Man. Now come on, you, to the cooler. To the cooler! <laughs> here, Eric. We're in the midst of a massive crime wave. This time it looks like the work of those arch criminals, the heavy mob. O'Reilly, O'Reilly. Oh, yes. Scouts on her, Eric. With so many calls, our switchboard has gone bananas. Right, Chiefy. This is a job for... Banana Man! <laughs> What's that smell, Chiefy? We're grilling suspects next door. Oh. Never mind them, Banana Man. The real danger is here. Now look, this is the heavy mob. I want you to fix their desperate faces in your photographic memory and track them down. Oh, and keep an eye out for the Phantom Purse Snatcher. And so, while the city slept, Banana Man began the Night Patrol. What was that? Could those mysterious figures be the heavy mob? Yeah, this ain't no fancy dress party, mister, whoever you are. On your way. Banana Man's the name, Sonny, and I know you are the heavy mob. This banana's loaded, and I won't hesitate to use it. So, back against the wall. You've got us all wrong, Banana Man. We're just a bunch of schoolboys, yeah, aren't we, yeah, lads? Yeah, <laughs> and all this, this is, um, sports trophies. Won them at, um... Night school. Night school, school. Night night school. school Sonny. Yeah. Yes, oh, I really. see. Well, I'd be very careful with a valuable collection like that. There are lots of villains about, you know. No. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we'll be very careful. The doctor examined his head once. Didn't find anything. Not even a brain. Help! Help! Stop that! Give me that handbag, Granny. Never! No, you shan't have it. It's mine. Pardon me, sir. I can see this little old lady is attacking you. <laughs> Allow me. Thanks, Gav. You're a real gent. Go home, Granny, and give up this life of crime. Banana man? Banana fool, more like. So, two cases sorted out. 
Dawn was breaking, but this night's villainy wasn't over yet. For near the top of the money bags building, Banana Man saw tiny moving figures. Got you. It's curtains for you, crook. I'm, I'm no crook. I'm a humble. I'm a... I'm a window cleaner. Just uh, step back, would you, and admire the sparkle? <laughs> and take this. Thank you. Oh! Was it to end like this? The lone eagle of the skies hurtling to his doom in the grip of a 10G power dive. Not if Crow could help him. Drop the weight and pull out Banana Man. There's still time. Okay. But it's no use, little fella. Even my super strength is no match for a 10G power dive. I guess it's... Thinking crow, you saved my life. Come on, lads, let's scarper. Up, up. Oh, let's go. <laughs> the heavy mob are all yours, Chief. I'm off to bed. <sighs> no sense in me hanging about. <laughs> I don't mind the rain, because this is my big day. We're playing Gasworks United and I'm in goal. Oh, this is no ordinary rain bucketing down. That's right, banana fans. It was raining cats and dogs. Poodles were forming everywhere. Keep right here, Eric. This is no ordinary rainstorm bucketing down. Oh, I tell you, lad. It's getting very damp around here. Mr. Grindle, our damage control officer, is down at the dam. And he says the wall can't take much more pressure. Gosh, Chief, if that wall gets Yes, away. Eric, exactly. Think of all that masonry and think of all those tons of water pouring down our Acacia Road. It could be the wall of death. Right, Chief, I'll be right. I'll, I'll get in touch with Banana Man immediately. <laughs> of the weatherman, but surely they've seen the last of that evil villain when his airship vanished in the grey arctic mists. Hadn't heard the last of the weatherman. Never mind. Banana Man was on his way. Yes, ma'am. To face one of the greatest challenges of my career. It's Banana Man. Hi there, Grindle. Hi. This is a splendid view. Now, what seems to be the problem? I'm doing my best, Mr. B, but this is... A very big wall. Say no more. What's to be done? Oh, well, you see, there's a huge plug at the base of this wall. If you could pull that plug, no, plug all this eh? water would drain away and we'll all be saved. But hurry, Banana Man. This wall won't last much longer. By George Grindle? Yes. Look, that's a periscope. There's no time for a one and a half twist or a somersault. Just a somersault, sir. No, there's no time. I shall just do my straight power dive. You must do what you think best, Mr. B. In that green twilight world beneath the waves, it was hunter against destroyer. And suddenly, there it was. Great barbecued bananas. A submersible airship. Yes, it is the weatherman. In person, baby mine. <laughs> and what a time for that interfering banana to turn up. Just a few more minutes of rain and the rising floodwaters will crack the wall. And then it's bye-bye, Arcacia Road, and farewell, the Acme Bingo Hall. <laughs> I know, I can stop Banana Man with a banana-seeking torpedo. Range at 5,000, a speed at 25 knots. Wow! One! And running! Uh -huh. Even at 50 fathoms, my underwater hearing aid can pick up the approach of a deadly banana seeking torpedo. Ah, this length of tube should do the trick. I'll bend it like mm, this and. Ready when you are, weatherman! Uh -huh. 
coming back. I can't let Banana Man pull that plug out. Stand by. Bam. Yes, fans, another villain down the drain. All in a day's work for a modest hero. And now it's time Eric appeared at that football match. We lost 23-0, Eric. We had nobody in goal. Yes, where were you, Eric? I know what you're thinking. Tell them the truth, right? But well, they never believe it. <laughs> 